Another man who knew Abe well, Fox News contributor and former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. And Mr. Secretary, welcome back to our program. Tough news to take here. Want to share a moment that we found four years ago in the summer of 2018, you with uh, the former prime minister. Uh, he was a friend to America, sir. How do you remember him? Well, Bill, he, he certainly was. Um, I'm, I'm heartbroken this morning, heartbroken for Prime Minister Abe and his family. I'm praying for them and all of the Japanese people. Uh, he, he was relentless in putting them first, the Japanese people first, but a dear friend of the United States. He knew that a successful United States and a good relationship with us made things better for his own people. I, I first met him, Bill, in 2015 after he'd spoken to a joint session of Congress when I was a junior member of Congress from Kansas and then got to know him better as a CIA director and as we were pushing back on Chairman Kim in North Korea. Prime Minister Abe was our best partner in helping us deliver an outcome for the world to keep our country safer. He was a, a good friend. Um, he and the president had a great relationship. He was always so kind to me. The world is far worse off today without yeah. Prime Minister Abe uh, astride, uh, helping us think about how we can deliver against the Chinese Communist Party and get good economic outcomes for the people of Japan and Asia, and most importantly, I, he always knew he wanted that here in America, too. I, I think you said that so well here, but you met so many people from around the world, and you know who was on our side and who was against us. He clearly was on our side. You know, again, what did he see in America, other than the security, perhaps, that we offered his own people and government? What did he see in the American ideas that drew him so affectionately toward our country? Look, he was, uh, he was wonderful. He was, he was quiet, but as tough as nails, Bill. And I think he appreciated that America was a rambunctious place with a democracy and a thriving economy, uh, one that welcomed Japanese investment inside its own country and Americans who would invest in Japan. He could see that we would be uh, reliable economic partners in addition to really good security partners. I think he also admired uh, the different parts of our country, too. We would we would joke about his home and my home in Kansas and how they were different. We joke about uh, Japanese beef and Kansas beef, uh, and who, who, who had the better who had the better stuff. He was a, a decent hmm. man who understood the world and all of its evil and all of its realities. And he worked relentlessly to deliver good outcomes. And he, he, he loved this place. He loved America, too, because he knew uh, that together Japan and America, America could do really important things for our own people and indeed for the world. Yeah, I, I don't remember specifically if you were in Japan for that G20 summit. Um, but this was around the time when your administration, under the leadership of President Trump, took a whole different tack with North Korea and Kim Jong-un. Um, what, what did Abe think about that? Because it was unique, it was new, and for a while it worked. He, he was all for it, and he was a great partner. We struggled more with the South Korean government, who had a, a different vision of how to approach this problem, but Abe was always with us. His foreign minister, Taro Kono, uh, my intelligence counterpart, Kim um, they all understood that we had to deliver uh, sharp, sanctions against the North Koreans, and then we had to work diligently to try and find a diplomatic path that could lead to more security. We, we, we jointly knew that the real threat in the region was the Chinese Communist Party, and if we could successfully get a better outcome in North Korea, that would facilitate our ability to push back against the CCP in the years ahead. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the last time you saw him or the, or the last time you talked to him, perhaps? I, I do. I, it was a private conversation that he and I had. Um, he was no longer the prime minister. He was thinking about you. He, he, when he was assassinated, he was out campaigning on behalf of the things he believed in. He never left his role as trying to help the Japanese people find a better path forward. And uh, this is what we were talking about. He was the former prime minister and how he might approach, how he might still be an important participant in Japanese life to make life better for them and, and still be a good friend of ours. Yeah. Well, that country's in shock. I'm sure you can understand that, too. A homemade gun was used, um, as I mentioned a moment ago. Mike Pompeo, thank you for your recollections today, and we will speak again very soon. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Bill. Have a great weekend, okay. sir. You're the same.